Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. I finally got around to testing House of Siage, their signature collection. I picked up the uh, travel joints December of last year, and I finally took the time to test them out. And of course, like always, I have thoughts. So if you guys are new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish and logical. So if you like it here, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and don't forget to follow me on the gram. I heard about House of Siage because of the cupcakes. Everybody talks about the cupcakes, the cupcakes, the cupcakes. So that's why I ended up with this set. Hopping right into it with Holiday. Holiday was supposed to be reminiscent of, you know, the first snowfall in New York. I don't know what part of New York it smells like, but um, yeah, I was not a fan of this at all. For me, it smelled like a like a air freshener, but you know, there's different calibers when it comes to air fresheners. This one smelled like the foggy ones where it, that's what this smells like to me. I just did not enjoy wearing this at all. At the top, we had mandarin and orange, heart notes of peach and rose, and base notes of vetiver and Virginia cedar. When it got later in the day, it smelled like, I've smelt this before on an older woman before. Like I totally have smelt this before. And I, I just don't get the correlation between fresh snow in New York. <laughs> in this there's something in it that I, I don't know like and I get maybe the Christmas time where you have a little bit of the you know the Christmas trees and stuff like that because I know a lot of people were saying that they wore it around the holiday season but I guess it kind of does smell like a pine tree a little bit I don't want to smell like a pine tree yeah I, like, I don't want to smell like this. So holiday was no vacation for me. And this was an easy pass. Benevolence, I definitely had a better experience with because as soon as I smelt it, I was like, oh, love don't be shy. <laughs> and I really like that that profile. I'm a orange blossom type of girl. At the top, we have almond oil and bergamot with heart notes of orange blossom and jasmine and base notes of vanilla and sugar. Dare I say, I like this better than Love Don't Be Shy by Killian because to me, this was a little bit more softer. It wasn't as sweet as Love Don't Be Shy. And I think that's why I liked it a little bit more. It had that little bit of vanilla in there to kind of like smooth it out. It, it made it a little bit more creamy, AKA a little bit more soft. You have to like Orange Blossom in order to like it. And if you didn't like Love Don't Be Shy, I would definitely give this one a try because it literally kind of smells the same. 100% enjoyed wearing this. This one, I was like, okay, cool. And then look at how dark this juice is. What I will say about House of Siage is that they have high concentrations of oil. Uh, Holiday was 20% and this one was also 20%. Like even on the card right here, you probably won't even see it, but there's a whole oil stain right here. And I'm just like, damn, okay, okay. But yeah, benevolence is something that I 100% I love because I love the scent profile. Cherry Garden was a tricky one for me because I didn't get cherry at all. <laughs> and I was really, really looking forward to the cherry. I thought I was going to have, I guess, something similar to Tom Ford and whatever cherry uh, perfume was out there. I just, I guess, had something in my mind and it completely was not the case. I know this smell. I've smelled this smell before and it it's killing me because I'm just like, all I think about is my dad with this one. So at the top we have almond oil and anise oil, then heart of rose and jasmine, base heliotrope and musk. All those ingredients seem like something I would vibe with, but I guess because in my opinion, it leaned a little bit more 
masculine. It's like a soft masculine, but it, I don't know. It's just something I just really wasn't vibing with. Maybe because I have a memory that's locked and I can't get it out, but yeah, it's just, I, I wish I got more cherry. I, I, I'm getting more garden. <laughs> Whatever is in that garden, I don't know. I wanted a cherry perfume to add to my collection and this one is not, is not giving it to me at all. So as much as I wanted to love it, and I do like it, <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't foresee myself purchasing it. Hopefully I pronounced this right, but Chevador, that sounds about right, right? Chevador, Chevador, close enough. But this one, plastic doll, plastic doll. I don't know why I get it, but I got it. It's in my nostrils and it stuck on. This is a 20% oil concentration. I forgot to mention Cherry Garden was 25. This is another one with the notes. I thought we would vibe and I don't know why we're not vibing, but we had wild strawberries, magnolia, black rose, Turkish rose, vanilla and sandalwood all scrum deliumptious, right? It smelled like a plastic doll on me for a couple of hours. And I was just like, come on, bro. Where's that Turkish rose at? Like, I need you to come forth and claim your spot. Once I got over the hump, okay, we can vibe with this a little bit. We're cool, we're friends, we kiki. But yeah, it's just that initial spray. Like, I do get that strawberry but I don't know if it's that pairing with the Magnolia where uh, it just smells like a plastic doll baby. And I don't want it to smell <laughs> like a plastic doll baby. Nobody ever mentioned plastic doll baby face. Not one. So I'm just like, no, no. And this is different from Cabbage Patch doll face. There's levels to plastic dolls. This one is just, one of those, I don't know, like plasticky dolls. I, 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 I didn't get it. Like, and I, I was so hopeful based upon the notes. And yeah, she did me wrong. She did me wrong, man. And after a few hours, yeah, it was, it was cool. But you know, again, I want to purchase perfumes where I'm going to love it from the start to the end. And I just didn't feel that with this one and I'm oh my god y'all don't even know how upset I was with this one because looking at the notes I was just like ooh, wild wild strawberries that sounds like something and no it, it just really didn't work out for me so by this time I was at the end of the week and I was just like <laughs> I don't know about House of Siage and then Holtz Bijou she came in and rescued my Friday this one was lovely. I enjoyed every second of wearing this. This one is what I expected. I, I wanna feel that girliness. I wanna feel that, that, that pretty, pretty cupcake vibe. Finally, she has arrived. So this one I got very tropical vibes from. I, I felt like this was something I would take on vacation with me and we just have a grand old time. There needs to be a beach, okay? There, there just needs to be a beach, it needs to be a yacht, something. But <laughs> that's what I wanted from this and I definitely got it. So we have grapefruit, mango, iris. I don't even know what this is, but Caro Karunde. That sounds like somebody's name, but it's beautiful though. Heliotrope and Amber. Throughout the day, it just got so beautiful. This one has a 25% oil concentration and it stuck to my body. I really wanted it to be a super, super hot day because I think this would perform so well in heat. This one perked me up for a Friday because I was just like looking at the rest of them. I'm like, mm, I don't know about y'all. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this one, I just felt really great wearing it. I was ready for a vacation. Okay. I was just like, where's my bags? Where's my passport? Where we going? 
Now, is she the like best tropical type summer scent that I've ever tried? No, not really. But from this collection, by the time I got to this, I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. Some, they're, they're giving me something. They're giving me something with this. So. so moving into the next week, I started off with Tiara. This made me smile, okay? This one, I really, really love. At the top, I got a bit of that cinnamon. And then from there on, whoo, she took me on a journey. She took me on a journey and I absolutely loved it. So we had cinnamon and tangerine at the top, peony and rose oil in the middle and vanilla and musk at the base. At the start of this, it was very clean. Just very, very clean. But then as time passed on, it just got sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, never sickening. It turned into more of a powdered sugar, very powdery sugar, and I really loved it. I felt like the person who wears this smiles a lot. <laughs> I was just like, okay, Tiara, I get it. I was totally living out my Princess Mia fantasies. I was just like, yes, we're smiling on a Monday while I'm at work. This was made for, I guess, princesses and you know, just, ah, huh. and that's what I got. I got Princess Diaries all day long. And I was like, yeah, this is what I would expect a princess to wear because they just, they have to smile. Or a pageant girl, a pageant girl would wear this. Pageant girl. Always having the smile, always being on point, just being kind, very gentle very likable and this is a very very likable scent you can't say anything bad about her it's just like even if you want to it's like damn she's just a nice fucking person <laughs> i liked how it started out very clean and then turned into this powdery sugar goodness i personally love that because i like smelling clean at the start of my day and then when that sweetness kicked in i was just like okay y'all i know what y'all doing over there so tiara was definitely high on my list Love is in the air. I was expecting something very soft, very, you know, flirty, very just young love, just deep love. This smelled very, very, very mature on me. And I was just like, no, why, no. Uh, I don't know why it got super woody on me, but <laughs> my dear old friend Patchouli was hiding in the base of this. So it had patchouli and musk at the base. In the heart, we had cedarwood and jasmine, and up top, we had plum and black currant. Between the cedarwood and that patchouli, this was a no for me. And this sucks because it had 25% oil concentration. The way I'm feeling in my late 30s, this is not representative of how I feel. For me, this was something an older woman who is still put together, she would be wearing this. She is one of those older women who's been married to her husband for like 40 years, <laughs> you know? And she wears, you know, the two piece suits, but it's the skirt one, cute hat. I, all I get is Diane Carroll with this. I don't know why she's the person I see wearing this. This ju just didn't, scream young to me at all it, it was a mature i'm not at right now okay i would probably double back to this when i am in my 70s or 80s but right now no the level of excitement i had to try passion de l'amour was through the roof i know this was one of the most popular ones it's like passion de l'amour passion de l'amour and i was like yes listen I completely hated this. <laughs> Yo, that first spray, I was just like, who I need a box right now? Who I need a box? Because y'all saw hair lied to me. I say that in fun because we all know fragrance is gonna be different on everybody. What I like, you may not like, and what you like, I might not like. And this, I do not like. And I think it's because this one has oud in it. I'm starting to think that I'm not a oud lover. Like oud, I'm not there yet. But at the base, it had oud and Latrix Absolute. In the middle, 
caramel and amorous oil and at the top we had saffron and raspberry that saffron and raspberry seemed like it would have been a party yo it was borderline scrubber for me borderline but i thugged it out i thugged it out and i made it through the day because earlier on in that day i was just like I think I'm not, I think I'm not a oud type of girl. This particular type of oud, I don't know what type of oud it is, but yeah, we do not vibe. And what kills me is that everybody's like, oh my God, this is so sexy. This is so sexy, boring, rah. If this is sexy, I don't wanna smell like this. To me, in my mind, this is not what sexiness smells like. But I do get like the type of woman who would wear this like she is very alluring she is very sexy very confident just you know slick back hair high high heels i get the woman who would wear this totally envision it i am not that woman i am not her okay yeah this one was such a fail for me and i was so mad like i was actually i was pissed like let's call a spade a spade i was pissed you know, and I was just like, ah. Oh. And this one had the most oil concentration of 30%. If y'all could see this card, like I just got a big old stain. So if you do happen to like this, make sure you don't spray your clothes cause you gonna be upset, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this one, I just, I was so upset, so upset. Next we have Nuit Moi. Close enough, right? Borderline Cologne. For me i just i didn't like it i didn't like it and i already know why i didn't like it my arch nemesis patchouli is at the base with musk mids we have rose oil and jasmine top we have peppercorn and cardamom oil yeah i mm, no mm -mm. to me this was like a classic old perfume not young not inventive like just not fresh and new i looked up what the the name meant and it's tied me so now i'm like okay i'm correlating the girl who wears this she's a dominatrix <laughs> she's very much so in control she wears a lot of black and you can tell by the cupcake yeah she wears wears a lot of black she is very authoritative okay she's in control you're saying yes daddy to her okay <laughs> just but for me i was just like again no it just smells dated to me and i just wanted something a little bit more fresh and new and like it's cool but no mm -mm. and then once that patchouli set in I was just like, yeah, we're, we're not vibing with this one. <laughs> I was just like, hey, nope, 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 nope. So by the time I got to Emerald Rain, I was like, okay, maybe I'll end my week off at a high note. Nope, nope, I did not. Which is such a shame because I really did like the opening. I smelt that nutmeg right away. I was like, mm -mm, okay. But again, it took a turn. In the middle, we had violet leaves and sandalwood, but that base, patchouli and benzoin. I felt the same way that I did with the previous one. I just felt like this was a little bit dated and just like, no, I can't. I do see a very confident woman pulling this off. The space that I'm in right now, I have no place for her. Emerald rain does not rain over here. No ma'am, I didn't feel good wearing these at all. I feel like these were some that I just would see myself wearing when I'm older. A little bit more life has happened, you know? Emerald Rain, it just really didn't speak to me. And the patchouli, the patchouli, it's just like, no. If you didn't guess by now, I don't think House of Siage is for me. I would probably pick up Tiara. Hearts Bijou and Benevolence. Those three, if those were gifted to me or later down the road, I actually wanted to add them to my collection just cause. Yeah, those three, absolutely 100% open arms come to the family, darling. 
all the other ones though, you can miss me with. <laughs> you can honestly miss me with those. If I received those for free, I would probably re-gift it. I'm being 100% honest. It's just, I don't feel like House of Siage and me are a good fit. And that's perfectly okay because, you know, there are other brands that just really flood my basement. But this one, she's a little dry. <laughs> I'm thinking about parting ways with this and selling it on Macari or something. But, um, yeah, this was, this was pretty disappointing for me. And it's sad. I think a lot of people hype it up because of their beautiful cupcakes, but this allowed me to not be jaded. Get it? Jaded? No? Okay. But it, it allowed me to just focus on the juice and not the enamored cupcakes. To see some of the scents that I actually do vibe with, check out some of my other videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.